in the last video, we learned about how to get the payment data from Razer Pay to our Pipedream account using Webhooks URL. And now in this video, we're going to learn how to integrate Adafruit IO with Pipedream so that we can get that payment data into our ESP32 board and later we can print that payment slip using the thermal printer. So that's the agenda of episode 2 and let's just quickly start with this video. So you first need to go to io.adafruit.com and make an account here and after logging to your account you need to go to the feed section. Now for those who don't know what is Adafruit IO well it is a cloud MQTT server and MQTT is kind of a most commonly used protocol for transferring data between client and server okay and this is of course free of course so you can use it for free. After coming to the feed section, you can click on new feed and let us give this feed a name as amount. Now feed is nothing but kind of topic used in MQTT. So in this amount feed will be storing the amount that we received from our Razer Pay account. So after creating this feed, your task is done. Now let's go back to the pipe dream and let's integrate Adafruit IO with pipe dream. For that, you need to click on the edit button and here click on the plus icon. Now, as I said, Pipe Dream is kind of a similar platform like IFTTT when you can transfer the data from one service to other service. So here you can search for uh, all the available services provided by Pipe Dream and out of them, one is the Adafruit IO. So I'll search for Adafruit and as you can see, the Adafruit IO appears here. After clicking it, you just need to click on send HTTP requests from any Adafruit IO API. Good. Now, first step is you need to link your Adafruit IO account. For that, you need to click here and click on connect new account. After clicking on that, it will ask for username and the active key, which you can get it from your Adafruit account. You can go to the Adafruit account and click on this yellow key icon. And here is the username and here is the active key, which you need to provide here. And after that, you can click on the save button and your account will be linked. In my case, my account is already linked, so I will click on it. Now, after that, we need to request one URL, which will ultimately send the data to the Adafruit IO account. For that, we need to do the post request on this URL in which you need to provide your username here and the feed name here. So the feed name is amount which we just created. So I'll just type as amount and here you need to provide your username which you can again find into your Adafruit IO account. So in my case, it is such an underscore SMS. So I'll paste it here. So that's kind of the link that you need to provide. And after providing that link into the body section, you need to add an application slash JSON and here in the body will send the actual data to be stored inside the feed called amount. For that, I'll type as value and here we need to provide the amount that we are receiving from the razor pay and how to find that well for that what you can do is you can go back and here you can click on leave without deploying and click on leave without deploying once again and all these things that we have done right now are saved in the draft so you don't need to do it again after doing that you can click here and just check out the last request that we received from razor pay so this is the uh, json data that we received from our razor pay account regarding the last payment now here you can go to body, then into payload, then into payment, then to entity, and here is the amount. Now remember, this step can be different for different payment gateways. Now, so what we are doing here is we are finding out the amount from this whole JSON data that we are receiving. So there are chances that if you're using a Paytm payment gateway, the amount will be stored in some different uh, location as compared to the Razor Pay and with a different name as well. So you need to search for the amount that you are receiving. Once you find that particular key value pair, in my case, which is this, you just need to click on copy path. Don't click on copy value, just click on copy path and it will copy the address where the amount is stored. After doing that, now we are good to go to provide this address and for that you can click on the edit button. I'll go back to my Adafruit IO settings and as you can see all the settings are as it is and now here I'll paste that address and we are done. So by providing this address, so next time when I do the payment, it will fetch out the data from this address and it will uh, store inside the uh, feed called as amount. And that's how we'll be able to receive our data into the Adafruit IO account. So first, let's keep it as it is and test out whether we are receiving the data or not. So what I'll do is I'll click on the deploy button and it will successfully deploy this workflow. Okay, so now we are good to go to test it out. So let me just show you everything. So this is my Adafruit IO account and right now into the amount to feed I don't have any data so I'll open the razor pay QR code I'll scan this QR code and for the demo let's just pay the amount of rupees 2 this time and I'll type my password 
and payment is done from my side first let's check pipe dream okay so as you can see the request is made and now let's just check out our adafruit account and as you can see we received the amount 200 now as i say razor pay they are adding the decimal values like two decimal values in it so if you receive 2.2 rupees it will just display 220 so right now i have paid two rupees it's showing 200 that means 2.00 you can say but yeah everything is okay everything is working fine we received the data in our adafruit io account and now we are left with the last step which is we need to receive this amount into the esp32 board and then later we can do all the things like printing that data on a thermal print so now let's move on to the Arduino IDE. Okay, so here is the complete example code that will get the data from Adafruit MQTT server and print it on the thermal printer. So for this project, I'm using the EP24 5V to 9V thermal printer along with my ESP32 board. Now, both of this product are available on our website for sale. So kindly purchase it from our website so that you can support us for making such free educational content for you. The links are in the description. And after getting both the components, you need to connect them according to this connection diagram. So now let's just focus back onto the code. So first of all, here we have installed all the necessary libraries. Now before the libraries, one thing is you need to have the ESP32 boards package installed in your Arduino IDE. And now the second step is you need to install the Adafruit MQTT and Adafruit Thermal Printer library whose links I have mentioned here along with the version which I'm currently using. You can download it from this link and add this zip library or else you can go to sketch then include library then to manage libraries. And here you can search for both Adafruit MQTT library in our Adafruit thermal printer library and just click on the install button which is here. So after libraries, here is the serial communication. The thermal printer is connected with the serial two pins that the UR2 pin of our ESP32 board. After that, here are the credentials that you need to change. Now, this is a part of the code which you need to change to make it work on your end as well. Rest of all the code will remain as it is as long as you are using the Razor Pay payment gateway and following all the steps which I have shown. So first of all, the SID name and password of your Wi-Fi router because this ESP need to connect with internet to get the data. After that, you need to provide the Adafruit IO credentials, which is first of all, you need to provide the server name, which will remain same. Then the port number will also remain same. The only change is you need to change all uh, three, these three credentials. Out of them, first is the username, which you can get it by going into your Adafruit IO account. Click on this key icon and here is the username. After that, the AIO key is nothing but the active key, which you can get again from here. And this feed name is nothing but the feed that we have created. And in my case, I have created the feed uh, name amount. If you have created the same feed name, you don't need to change this. But in case if you created another feed name, you need to change this as well. After that, the code will remain as it is. Now, let me just explain how this code is working. So setup part is pretty common, beginning the serial monitor, beginning the thermal printer, connecting to the Wi-Fi network and subscribing it to the MQT topic. Now, as soon as we receive any data from that topic, means as soon as someone pays on your Razor Pay QR code, the data will be received on the amount feed. And as we all know that the amount received is uh, containing two decimal values inside it. For example, if the amount is one, 0.23 rupees the razor pay will send 123 so we need to convert that 123 into 1.23 for example so that's what we are doing so first of all we are printing as it is whatever data is received after that we are converting the data received into actual amount value for example converting 100 into 1.00 now this is particularly for razor pay payment gateway only for other payment gateway the format can be different for example i have used the paytm payment gateway and in the Paytm, we don't need to follow this conversion step because Paytm sends the data as it is. Like if we pay 1.23 rupees, it will send 1.23 only. Okay. So this is an optional. This is just done for the razor pay. So after we convert this value, we are good to go to print in the thermal printer. So here are all the steps for printing the receipt using thermal printer. And that's it. That's how you will get the payment receipt instantly as soon as someone pays on your razor pay qr code a very simple code isn't it so now let us uh, upload this code and test it out so for that i'll what i'll do is i'll go to the board section and select the board as esp32 do it dev kit v1 which is this after doing that i'll select the right com port which is this and i will straight away hit the upload button so here is the setup and when I reset the ESP32 board on the serial monitor it says connecting to SMS Geo5 and it's connected now it's connecting to MQT and it is connected with MQT as well. So now we are ready to do the payment. So I'll open the QR code scanner on my smartphone and I'll scan this Razor Pay QR code. 
So I quickly scanned it and I'll just do a demo payment of rupees one. Okay, so as you can see, the payment is done and uh, <clears throat> okay, on the serial monitor it says printing on thermal printer. As you can see, it started printing the payment slip and I'll show you just in a while. Okay, it's printed successfully. So that's the format of the payment received. Well, first it's written as payment received, then amount, then the status, thank you and techie sms so that's the kind of format i have created you can totally modify it but now let us try to do the payment of a decimal value and let's see if it can print the decimal points or not and also this time we'll set the timer and let's see after successful payment how long it takes to print the receipt let's check it out so here i'll again open the qr code scanner and I'll scan this qr code and this time let's do the payment of amount 3.45 that's the time of uploading my youtube video click on proceed securely and here uh, this time i'm using the secondary phone to turn the stopwatch in it so as soon as the payment gets successful i'll turn on the stopwatch to see how long it takes to print the receipt so i'll click on the submit button and start okay so it took around 3.2 second this time to print the receipt as soon as i did the payment so 3.22 second for getting this payment received which is pretty fast and during my testing i got the time as low as 2.5 second as well so it's vary from 2 second to 4 second to get the payment sleep but still it's really really fast and we are also able to get the decimal points as well so yeah that was the quick demo of our payment receipt printer now here i would like to tell you a couple of things First is this pipe dream uh, definitely is available for free of course but it has some limitation like it will give you limited number of credits per day to use in the free plan. So on the official pipe dream website it is written as free pipe dream account are limited to only 25 credits per day and credits in the simple term can be explained as the execution of workflow for one single time that means in a free plan, we can uh, do only 25 payments to be very precise, okay? But on my on my dashboard, like if I go to uh, my dashboard of Pipe Dream, here as you can see that I have utilized 14. So like today, I did 14 times payment or 14 times the workflow was executed out of 100. Now here I'm confused why it is showing 100. Technically, it should show 25 only because I'm using the free account. And in case if you want to do more payment, you can go for the paid version. They do have the paid versions options available. But if you are a student, if you want to show this kind of project in your school and colleges, well, I have one a technique in which your credits won't be used much. OK, so what you can do is you can go to your project section and here inside the workflow, you can go inside this workflow. And here click on the edit button. Now what it can do is uh, whatever payment that we have done, whatever uh, response it got from the razor pay, it's stored in the pipe dream in your pipe dream account. So if I uh, go into select event here, as you can see, I can see the last 10 payment data, which I did. So I can select any of the payment. Let's just select the latest payment. And now what I can do is I can click on test workflow and it will still print the pa uh, payment slip. Let's, let me show you. So I click on the test workflow. So it will execute this complete workflow and your credits won't be utilized. As you can see, the payment slip uh, started printing. Okay. So what you can do is while making the project, you have to test it a lot of time. You can use this test workflow rather than doing the actual payment that will save your uh, credits. And uh, in case you are showing it in a college or school, uh, you can also utilize this so you don't need to physically you know, practically do the payment all the time you can click on test workflow and it will print out this sleep and in case your professor or uh, any you know dignities come to check it out they can do actual payment and it will get printed and that will utilize the credit so this is kind of a technique where you can save your credits but yeah that was all about the payment receipt printer the episode two of my webhooks based projects and now we are good to go to the last episode of the series where we gonna make the actual payment sound box that works over web hooks and it will be really really fast as you can see this this printer prints within three seconds okay so we will be having the similar thing but in an audio feedback version similar to the latest paytm uh, you know pocket sound box in the market so we're developing that and soon its video will be coming live on our channel so again type out excited 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 if you're really excited to see the last but the very interesting project using web books just type out excited in the comment section and yeah that being said I'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.